way I feel. When you say it the way you feel, then that's when you are the liar because you are not speaking the word of God. Yes, in the physical, the world may say, oh, you are a liar. But God Almighty does not call you a liar when in the midst of pain, you declare that you are healed. When in the midst of lack, you say, I have enough. When in the midst of fear, you say, I shall fear no evil. That's God's language. God's language is not the language that the world system understands. The world has built itself a system. That system is different from the system of God. God Almighty does not call us disadvantaged. God does not call us sick. God does not call us imbeciles. God does not call us fools. God does not call us broke. It's man that says, oh, I am broke. God is never broke. And you are spirit. You are one with the Holy Spirit. For you are the temple where the Spirit of God lives. If your house inside here is the temple, the Spirit of God is living somewhere inside us here. If the Spirit is not broke, neither are you. If the Spirit is not sick, neither are you. If the Spirit is not confused, neither are you. If the Spirit is not disadvantaged, neither are you. It's in God that we live. At times, circumstances may come. Appearance may look so bad. The appearance wants you to judge by appearance. But I remember Jesus telling us very well, do not judge by appearance. Judge righteous judgments. Jesus said, do not judge by appearance. When you look at the physical, you get discouraged. It's like Peter. There was a time when Jesus, uh, uh, Peter wanted to walk on the water. And Jesus said, Peter, come. And Peter began to walk. And then he looked at the wave. He took his eyes off the Lord. And he began to look at the situation. And Peter began to sink. And as Peter began to sink, Jesus reached forth his hand and took Peter into the boat. Don't look at the physical. Don't look at the storm that is raging. Let me tell you at times that storm will rage and rage and rage and rage and rage and tell you where is your God. I want you to know that your God is there. Your God will never leave you or forsake you. Do not let appearances deceive you to lose faith. God is your life. God will open doors for you where they say there is no way. God will open doors for you. We may go through trials. We may go through temptations. We may go through times when things are not right. But that does not mean that God is not there. God is always there for us. Our God is an ever-present help in the time of need. God will meet every need. God will go ahead of us to make a way where there is no way. Fill yourself with the living word of God. Speak only living words. The Bible said that the words that Jesus spoke were living words. Speak living words. Don't speak on wholesome words. Words that are rotten. The Bible says in Ephesians 4.29, Do not allow unwholesome talk to come out of your mouth. What is on? On wholesome talk. This is the kind of talk that does not bless anyone. When we say things that does not edify, when we say things that bring everybody down, we are not edifying anybody. No, 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 that's not what God wants for us. God wants us to speak words that are pure, words that are lovely, words that build up, not words that destroy. Because of words, many nations are in war today because of what one person said to the other. Watch your words. Don't use your words to create riot inside your body. Most of the time, people keep on Confessing negative and negative and negative and negative until the negative is established. Our God is so faithful. I went to visit my auntie last weekend and um, 
one of her, there was one of her relatives who was there. So as I was telling my auntie to keep blessing her legs, uh, because most of the time my auntie says things that are not right about her legs. So I was telling her off, I said, no, you must keep blessing your legs. And then this relative that was there said then, but her legs should be like that at her age. I said, well, I don't believe so. She's mentally agile. She doesn't have wrinkles on her face. There are no wrinkles at 90, 90, over 90. My auntie does not have wrinkles. Her face is still as beautiful as she was when she was young. Her everything is intact. Her hands are perfect. It's just that leg. And the only reason that leg is like that is because my auntie does not bless her legs. She always says it the way she feels. So this relative was saying, oh, but at her age, her legs should be like that. Then I said to him, if you are talking of that, then at her age, her face should have been full of wrinkles. She doesn't have them. At her age, she, she wouldn't... My auntie can remember things that happened when she was a baby. I said, most people her age can't remember what happened yesterday. This woman is an example of God's blessing, of God's goodness. The only thing that is wrong is the leg. And the only reason why the legs are like that is because of the confession she keeps on putting on that leg. If she can change that conf confession, she will live to perfection until God calls her home. And I said to her, why will God give you life and take your leg? God is a good God. Old age does not mean that we are finished. The Bible says in Psalm 92 verses 10 that we shall bear fruit in old age, that in old age we shall see the flesh and flourishing. There is nothing wrong with age. We don't have to fall apart because we are aging. We don't have to become uh, a soul story because we are aging. God Almighty is the ancient of days, yet he is not boring. Why do we have to become boring? Because of age. In every age, we should celebrate the goodness of God. We should celebrate God's power in every age. Praise be to the name of Jesus. God used his word to create his world. The Bible says in, in Hebrews 11.3 that the whole world was framed by the word of God. And God is still using his word to sustain the world. God created the world with his word and he is still using the world to, to sustain the whole world. So who are you then to say you want to do it in another way? What kind of word are you speaking? The words that you are speaking, can it build your world? Can it sustain your world? God created this world with words and he is still maintaining the world that he created with words. His word. And he has given us that same word. We can use it to build our lives and we can use it to sustain our lives. For the word of God is the building bricks of life. Sometimes, most of us are so hard on ourselves. We reject ourselves. We condemn ourselves. We have so much poor self-image of ourselves. I have seen people speak so much negatives about themselves. Oh, I am not good. I am not worth anything. Blah, 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 blah. You condemn yourself. You don't love yourself. Because of where you have been and the circumstances that you have faced, you stop loving yourself. God loves you with an everlasting love. Even when you feel that you don't love yourself, begin to say it. I'm a love child. God loves me. Because God loves me, then I love myself. I am valuable. Forgive yourself. Most of the time, we hold on to our mistakes. We hold on to the past. We hold on to the things that have happened and we refuse to forgive ourselves and we keep going back and digging up the things that have passed. Let us forgive ourselves for God has already forgiven us. 
Get wonderful words to yourself. I am blessed. I am beautiful. If you don't say that to yourself, who is going to say it to you? Bless your body. This body is the body of the living God. Bless it. Bless it. This skin on your body, this skin that you can see is the most powerful force on earth. Bless your skin. Bless your body. Bless every organ. Bless every muscle. Keep blessing your body. Bless this body. Bless it. Bless it. Bless everything you do. Bless the work of your hands. It may not look the way you want it in the physical, but bless it. It's God that gave it to you. Bless it and it will increase. Keep blessing. Bless the areas that seem to be weak. Bless the areas that look as if they are sick. Bless them for they were created out of the seed of blessing. God created you. After he created you, he looked at you and he called you good. God called you good. Don't let anybody, don't let any circumstances, don't let your feelings arise and tell you that you are not good. God loves you. God loves us with an everlasting love. Let us believe that. Our God is so faithful. Our words should be full of grace. The words that we speak should be seasoned with grace wherever we appear. Our words should bring life. Our words should nourish many. Our words should be words that bring life in every area that we appear, in every situation that we encounter. Our words should be words that bring life. Amen. God is so good. Our God is so, so, so faithful. Wherever we go, people should remember us for the good that we bring, for the precious words that we bring. See, that person doesn't speak negatives. They bring out the best in everybody. That person brings out the best in everybody. That's how they should describe you. When they're speaking of negative things, you shouldn't be the one contributing. And they say, I thought that person is a Christian. Why is he speaking like that? You talk like the world, you talk like sinners, you, there's nothing you, you, when, when you appear, people are not happy, they are not saying, oh, this person has appeared, this person has come into our home, this person has come, and we are happy. Emmanuel, we went to, to play mode with Emmanuel, and Emmanuel was telling me, he, and he said, mom, these people said that the only thing they listen to is your messages. They don't even listen to the telly. She said, Mom, how do you get to that place when people so value what you say? And he said, you are my mom, but I take you for granted. And sometimes I don't listen to the things you say. Mom, I'm happy I came here. These people say all they listen to is what you have to say. That's where we should be aiming for. Where we, are, where we are headed should be where people value the things that we say. Where people value our words and they want to hear it again and again and again and again. Watch the words that you say. Because you can use your words to rebuild your life. Your words are the building bricks of your life. Watch what you say. You are a child of the living God. When somebody comes and begins to tell you what God did not say about you, do not accept it. Do not accept it. Our God is so faithful. We are precious. We are loved by God. Our God is so good. Our God is so merciful. Our God is so kind. We are always speaking all kind of words. We are always thinking all kind of words. Why not make those words wonderful words? Why not make your words the words of life? Why not make the things that you say be the things of life? Why don't you make your words to be the words of life? Have something wonderful to say. 
in every situation. Stop going by how you feel. Stop judging by appearances. Judge righteous judgments in the name of Jesus. Our God is faithful. The words that we speak play a very important role even in our human relationships. Sometimes it's better not to say nothing. Sometimes in your relationship with others it's better not to say something if you know that you don't have something good to say. Because most of the time we can say things that we can't take back and it can hurt and go on hurting for a long time. Words are the building bricks which we build everything in our life and in the life of others. Let us make it a habit to use choice words, words that are choice. Choose the very best words for every occasion, for every situation. Sometimes people come to my website and they read and they read and they say, is this, is this, is this real? Is this true? Because I have used the choices of words to write the things that are on that website. And each one is true. We can make our words living words that bring hope to people, that change things, that bring a turn around in the life of people. And as we speak those choice words in those situations, we will find that we are the ones that people seek in the times when everything else has said them, they will look for you. They will remember that you always have the word of the living God and they will look for you. And when they find you, that, that joy will come. That joy of restoration will come because they know that whatever you speak will be words that will bring change. It will be words that will make a difference. Praise be to the name of Jesus. Our God is so good. I just want to encourage you this afternoon to know that your words can change your life. Therefore, choose carefully the words that you speak. Choose carefully the words that you use in every situation. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. For those who are watching us online, God is able to bring to pass in the name of Jesus. You are all welcome to the Sunday services this Sunday. Praise be to God. Our God is merciful and our God is kind. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Our God is good. Thank you, Lord. The title of my message this Sunday is You Can Use Your Word to Change Your World. You can use your words to change your world. Most of the time, we do not realize the importance of the words that we speak. And we can go around saying things that do not benefit us. We can go around saying things that will not in any shape or form help us in any way. But today I want to encourage us with the word of God that says that God Almighty we use the words that we speak to change our lives. Please let's go to Matthew 12, 36 to 37. Matthew 12, 36 to 37. Praise be to God. In Matthew 12, 36 to 37, the Bible says Praise be to the name of Jesus. Praise be to God. For by your words you will be acquitted. And by your words you will be condemned. I'm going to read Matthew 12 from 36 to 37. But I tell you that men will have to give account on the day of judgment for every careless words they have spoken. But I tell you that men will have to give account on the day of judgment for every careless words they have spoken. For by your words you will be acquitted, and by your words you will be condemned. Praise be to God. The Bible is telling us that we have to be careful about the words that we are speaking, because the words that we are speaking 
can make a difference in our lives. So many times I hear the people of God, I hear my fellow brothers and sisters, when you ask them how they are doing, they'll say, oh, I'm fine. But after saying, no, I'm fine, the next one or two minutes, they will start telling you all their problems. They will start telling you everything that is going wrong with them. They don't know that those negative confessions is having a negative effect on their lives. They don't know that those negative confessions is having a negative effect on their life and the things they are doing. It's so, so, so important that we watch what we are saying, that we watch what we say, even in the times when we don't feel like it. Thank you, Jesus. God Almighty is so faithful. Mary, please take this for me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Spirit of God. Most of the time, we don't know that the things that we are saying is making an impact on our day-to-day -day, um, um, decisions that we are making, on the things that we are doing day-to-day. -day. We don't know that the things that we are saying, that the things that we are doing is having an impact. Praise be to the name of Jesus. God is a good God. God is faithful. God is so, so good. At times, you may not feel very joyous. At times, you may not feel very strong, very vital. At times, you may not feel so, so, so wonderful. But you can change that around by beginning to declare that God is good to you. By beginning to declare that your day is glorious. That the things you are doing is working. Even though in the physical at times, it may look as if things are not working the way you want it to work. It may look as if situations are not the way you want it to be. But you can always, at every given point in time, begin to declare the goodness of God in your situation. You can begin to declare how good and how faithful our God is. Praise be to the name of Jesus. God Almighty has promised us that He will always be there. God sent me this morning to tell you that by your words you will be justified and by your words you will be condemned. The words that we are speaking is making a difference, is making an impact in our lives. Most of the time we may not know this, but the words that we are speaking is making an impact, is making a difference in our lives. Our God is so, so, so faithful. Our God is merciful and our God is so, so kind. There is no, 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 no one like the God that we serve who 